Hey everyone, in this episode I'm going to talk about Washington Quarters, minted in 1965. Before we start, quick reminder. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to do it so, in order to learn more about US and world coins. Here I have two circulated examples from Philadelphia Mint with light to medium wear on high points. One of them even displays some oxide stocks. Yes, copper nickel coins can oxidize over time. Oxidation occurs when the metal reacts with oxygen in the air, forming a layer of corrosion on the surface. This can cause a coin to discolor and lose its shine. 1965 Washington quarters were struck by the United States Mint from 1965 to 1967 as part of a series of quarters honoring the first President of the United States, George Washington. These quarters were the first in the series to be minted after the passage of the Coinage Act of 1965 that removed the silver from circulation in the United States. The 1965 Washington quarters weigh 5.67 grams and have a diameter of 24.26 mm. They were composed of sandwich copper nickel clad layers with a copper core. Despite the lack of silver content, the 1965 Washington Quarters proved to be incredibly popular among collectors due to the fact that they were highly accessible and affordable for beginner collectors. While not considered rare or highly valued, the 1965 Quarters can still be found in many collections and are classic piece of American coinage history. For 1965, Philadelphia branch of the mint produced nearly 2 billion of quarters, making them worth just face value in circulated conditions. The most valuable 1965 Washington quarters are those that are graded as MS67 plus or higher by a reputable grading service such as PCGS or NGC. This is 1965 Washington Quarter in Main State 68, a registry set contender, minted by the billions and generally ignored by collectors. The first year clad quarters set a mintage record that still stands, but it was either not saved in high grades or the grading services find the issue unworthy in its entirety. This wonderful piece was sold for $1920 in 2019 at Heritage Auctions. In 1965, the United States Mint began to transition from striking quarters with silver to using a copper-nickel clad composition. However, some 1965 quarters were struck on 90% silver planchets. This resulted in a small number of error coins that have become highly collectible among numismatists. This is one of the most expensive representatives of that error. Graded in Mint State 63 by PCGS, a transitional error struck on a leftover silver planchet from 1964. Errors of this type are rare. These pieces satiny with ivory white luster and minimal abrasions for the grade. Slight strike softness is seen on the finer detail of Washington's portrait. It was sold on December 15, 2020 for $16,800 at Heritage Auctions. You should also know about the relatively rare double diverse variety among 1965 quarters. FS-101 is a very rare and popular variety that shows clear doubling of most of the letters of In God We Trust, Liberty and the Date. And on the left side of the Washington's profile, these were obvious varieties that should not be confused with lesser 1965 double diverse, meaning FS-102, which shows less dramatic doubling on Liberty only. Even in Mint State 64, such coins are worth around $1400 as for PCGS. Thanks for watching guys, keep following us on YouTube and don't forget to hit thumbs up. Have a nice day.